Hello everyone, and welcome to a video about programming with Sweet. Today I'm going to tell you about one of my favorite ways to program. Programming, but not to make an application. Just to make one of my tasks automated and easier. Usually this type of programming is called scripting, and Python is a perfect language for it because of its easy to use syntax and because there are a lot of resources and libraries available online. The problem I'm going to try to solve today is one that my friend ran into while editing a video. In Adobe Premiere, when you try to scale up a small image that's a low resolution, it becomes very blurry. This is because the method it's using to scale up the image results in the edges of some of the pixels looking blurry, which is usually a good thing when the image is of real life. However, in this case, my friend is using sprites from a video game, and she wants those pixels to stay uh, sharp and the edges to be clear. To solve all of this, she needs to scale up the image outside of Premiere, and um, that way it won't be blurry. However, because she has a hundred images to scale up, that that's a lot of work, and I think that being able to write a script would really help her speed up this process. Now when I'm thinking about writing a script, there are a few questions that I usually need to ask myself. Am I sure a computer can do this easily? Are there too many steps involved in the script that I'm writing? And what libraries can I use to make my job easier? In this case, the first question, yes, all I'm doing is resizing a bunch of images, and I'm sure computers can resize images. And for the second part, no, I'm just going to be telling a computer to iterate through every image inside of a folder and change its size. And three, I've actually already know the answer to this question, and it's because I've worked with a library called OpenCV before, and I know that it actually has its own resizing function. But even if you don't know that, you can just look up Python Image Manipulation Library and you can find plenty of resources online telling you about libraries that you can use just to manipulate images, and in this case, to resize them. Okay, so let's start coding. Okay, let's start coding. I'm going to be using Visual Studio to make this script because it just makes installing OpenCV easy and I'll include a guide on how to install Visual Studio and Python in Visual Studio in the description. Now, first we're going to make a new project, a Python project. And we can call this scale up. And keep this location in mind because we're going to be using it soon. And over in Python environments, uh, you click on manage Python packages and you type in the name of your package. In this, in this case, our package is called OpenCV Python. Uh, and, and if you type it properly, you can run the command OpenCV Python, which means that it'll install it for you and then you can type in import cv2 and it won't give you an error. Now let's think about exactly what we want our code to do. We want our program to look into a folder and for each file in that folder we want to open each image, resize each image, and save the image into a completely new folder. Hmm. It sounds like we're going to need something that can actually handle folders. Now, this is where a second module called OS will come in. Now let's think about the first thing, iterating through all those file names. Well, for that we're going to use a for loop. And the directory we're going to be looping over is the source directory. I can spell. And we also want to make sure that each file that our program acts on is actually a PNG. So we can check that by doing file name that ends with dot PNG. And if it is, that's when we start our program. So now we're going to use OpenCV to open each image. 
and the method for that is imread, and then the file name, and then the ta the way you use to open it. And in this case, we're going to do imread underscore unchanged. Now the resize function wants the dimensions of the final image, not the scaling factor, which means that we're going to have to compute that ourselves. So we're going to say um, get let's get the size of of our image, then multiply it by a scaling factor, and do the same thing with the y component. And I realize that I have not defined my scaling factor. Now we can just resize the image. So the function for that is cv2.resize. Um, the second part is the dimensions. And then the interpolation. Enter underscore nearest. And now we're going to use cv2.im write, not read, and then make sure it's in our other folder. I'm using the wrong slashes. Whoops. And then the file that we're using. And I realized that I should have done this here as well. Uh, two small bug fixes here. Uh, we need to change the indices here. And we need to be using shape instead of size because. Well, size is not going to give us what we want. And in the folder where our Python script is running, be sure to add the source and output folder so that it doesn't give you an error when it tries to look for a folder that doesn't exist. And in the fol source folder, I'm going to put just a test image that I have prepared just for this. So now when we run the script, we should see that it doesn't give us any errors. And if we take a look at our output folder, we should see that here's our picture of Mario. And if we look at the file info, we can see it's 10 times bigger than it was before. And if this is still not big enough, what we can do is we can change the scale to from 10 to 100, or whatever size we want. Now you can see why I like this so much. Instead of spending a whole day doing a menial task, I spent just about an hour or two making this script, which can do that stat task in seconds. And the more experience you have scripting, the shorter that it'll take to, to write a script. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned to our latest videos.